Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Captain America Giant Man series Nick Fury. I actually finally found this guy at Walmart. So I'll go and look at the package. They did change it up a little bit. Uh, it says Marvel Legends right here. It has the cap shield. It says Build the Figure Giant Man. Uh, it's got the Giant Man left arm along with Nick Fury. Shield Agent head and I cannot remember his this character's name. So. Go ahead and definitely leave a comment. It has a picture of Nick Fury on the side here. I do like, as you can see, it's wrinkled right across here. I do like how this has become more glossy, whereas before, um, definitely the back was less glossy. So it's kind of, that's kind of a nice little add-on if you're a mock collector. Uh, it just shows the rest of the figures in the wave, as you guys can see. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of reviews on this figure, but I just really have been wanting him. So I'll go ahead and rip this guy open, and we'll go ahead and check out Nick Fury. All right, guys, so first we'll go ahead and start out the details. So he comes with two interchangeable heads. He has the shield agent head. Looks really cool. I really like how this helmet looks. Uh, it's just got the gold visor with the, with the little breathing apparatus in the front here, it looks like. It's just nice silver paint applications. It's got some silver on the top. But I like how it's got kind of like the SWAT looking armor plated helmet. You can see more of those black rivets along the back. Definitely cool. Makes him a must have army builder since the shield teal pack, the shield two pack agents are so expensive. So hopefully we see more of these guys in stores. And I, I did not get a chance to look this guy up. I think he looks really cool too. He's got kind of a crazy looking face. A little green uh, sight on the side here. It looks really cool. His little messy hair. Ah, I cannot hold on to this guy. There we go. Very cool. And looking at Nick Fury, he does come with a uh, one handgun, which has um, no paint details. It's actually pretty low on that. It's just a light, kind of almost like a light blue uh, plastic, but it looks like a Luger again, but just a little handgun. Fits nicely in his hand though. He's got that nice trigger finger. And then also you can, which is nice, you can holster it if you choose which with this guy will be posing him most likely as a shield agent. So I will be using a different uh, gun in his hand. I'll go ahead and slide that in for right now. I think the Nick Fury head looks awesome. I really like this Nick Fury head. So, oh, I'm missing some paint on there in the hair. Not too bad. But I love that uh, five o'clock shadow. I think that looks really cool. I think mm, this is a cool looking Nick Fury head. Uh, it's got the nice little white uh, hair on the side here. You can see his little eye patch strap painted nicely. Goes all the way around, covers his eye. Uh, mine does miss, is missing some paint underneath his cowlick there. And a little bit more on the side. But the eye look is looking dead on, that's important. <laughs> and then continuing, it's just kind of this darker blue, but I really like these straps. I think these straps look awesome. Uh, this gun is not removable, but it's a very pliable uh, plastic, like almost like a rubber, but it's got nice little pouches, these little, uh, kind of a, I don't know how to say teal, but kind of, you know, like a shimmery, uh, lighter blue, uh, buttons and buckles. I think that looks really cool. You can see there too, but it does actually have a little bit of a wash. It's actually really cool on those straps there. Uh, mine's a little twisted. Let's see if I can fix that. I'll have to do that later. It might be, oh man, mine looks like that might be the best it's going to be. Let's see if I can roll it. There we go. There. There we go. <laughs> but anyway, enough of me. Um, it's got some more of those kind of like a lighter, uh, that same shimmery lighter blue right there on the buckles there. But I really like how they gave it a little bit of a wash. It actually makes it look really nice. It's a great job. So you continue this along here on these, all these pouches. It is missing uh, some of that paint on these pins, so I wonder if mine just kind of came out that way. Uh, you can see the same black wash on those holsters, but more of those pins. I'm, I'm pretty sure mine just got messed up and they forgot to put the paint there because all the other ones seem to have it. It looks really good. You can see more on the leg holsters. This is on very loosely, so it easily can slide down. You can see it can fall down, uh, so you definitely want to Try to mess with it too much unless you don't want it on. Because so I can see that stretching out over time. If you're mucking around with it too much, and it'll just always fall off. 
Uh, it's got that same kind of wash around the wrist here on the gloves. You can see them right there on the bottom. But it's got the nice, also the nice uh, shield logo right there. Oh, come on, camera. Looks good. See the eagle? That blue looks a little weird to me. I don't know why. But overall, I think that looks great. Looks really cool. Nice shimmery silver. Looks really nice. Going down, uh, it's just that same, you know, darker blue plastic along with the white uh, plastic for his boots. Uh, you can definitely tell it's a Hydra Soldier body or uh, the Bucky Cat body. But, oh, oh, there we go. Okay, we'll go ahead and go over the articulation. Uh, ooh, his head falls off real easy. So his head looks up very far, looks down very good, looks left and right. This one's definitely kind of loose. Uh, you can kind of rock it to the side. It's got ball joints in the shoulders. What's nice is there's no uh, lining here, kind of like with uh, Captain America a while ago with the star, you would move it up to disorient the star. Glad they don't do that with this one. Uh, forward and back. It's got an upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, uh, wrist rotation, also a hinge at the wrist. It's got a nice ab crunch, crunches forward, crunches back not too far. It's got a waist swivel there. Uh, you can kick forward, and then you can spread about that much. It's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed elbow, double jointed knees, uh, boot rotation, ankles move down, they move up. He's got a nice ankle rocker, and pedals the bottom of his feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Nick Fury is. All right, guys, so Nick Fury stands a little over six inches tall. Then I'll show you him next to the other two Nick Furies I have. So here's the Nick Fury from the original uh, two pack with the Hand Ninja, and I mean, geesh, I mean, look at the two, look at the difference in the two's head sculpts from Hasbro. You can see how far Hasbro has come. Got this guy with this tiny little eye that's looking off to the left. I mean, it's just, look at the flesh tone difference. So this one's so much better looking. I am going to end up trying to find a um, Dugan head to swap with this one. The only thing I'd say is like it's cool that this gun can come out. Uh, but overall you can kind of see the straps are pretty similar. See the difference in the shield logo. But yeah, so there you go. I mean, geez, that's so much a, such a better looking... Uh, head sculpt in my opinion that Hasbro has definitely improved and then we'll check out the Toy Biz one which has always been my favorite I think the Toy Biz one's got a great head sculpt see it's kind of almost like a younger Nick Fury because it doesn't have the white on the sides there but see he's got the five o'clock shadow also it's just not as uh, dominant as on this one I don't know, I'm torn on these guys. It's funny how this guy has brown eyes and this guy's got blue. See the shield on the side. Really like the, the shield logo on this Toy Biz one. And his pistol is also removable. See the overall, and they stand almost the same. Yeah, I'd say they're about the same. Get the tape measure in. Yeah, Hasbro's a little bit taller, not by much, but I don't know. I still like uh, the Toy Biz one a little more. Definitely the Hasbro one has a lot more articulation compared to the Toy Biz. This is the Submariner body, uh, so it doesn't have any doesn't have an ab crunch, and the gun does look kind of big in the front. But um, I do like I don't know. I'll probably be swapping them around. I don't know, I do like this head sculpt on this guy a lot more as I keep staring at him. Eh, I'll, it'll take some time. I'll, I'll, I'll decide eventually. <laughs> but I do want to army build these guys definitely. I think, uh, let's show you guys how that looks. I think the soldier head looks really cool. Man. It's always hard popping these on the first time. Yeah, I think that looks sick. <clears throat> My voice is still not good. 
But I think that looks really cool. Definitely want to find more of these guys. But anyways, there you go, guys. That's my review on the Marvel Legends Nick Fury and Shield Agent and the other guy. I can't remember his name. You guys can definitely leave a comment letting me know since I feel dumb not remembering. Um, I should have looked up earlier. But anyway, there you go, guys. <laughs> That's my review. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.